goodness. Oh, I love how the universe plays. I just did a 50 minute reading reveals for all of you and it didn't record. I hope this one's recording. I'm going to try it one more time just because I'm here and the ambiance and the scenery and you know, I'm still in the beautiful energy that's just come through to support us. So I'm going to, it's obviously, I'm not going to be able to replicate um, what was just shared. As I said, the energy is still very much present with us. So we're going to just get right into it. So this is the reveals for the eclipse season, eclipse corridor support. Yes, they want me to start there. So um, these days, there's a lot going on for us. There's a lot going on. And many of us feel like we are in this um, birth canal, birth canal to new life. Uh, for those of us who are awake, it can be, you know, it can be rather unsettling, although I do feel that many of us are um, settling in nicely and, and moving uh, more graciously and with ease in excitement and more excited energy than uh, we have experienced it through 2020 and even into 2021. There's a need for, um, there is a real call for um, self-care in really expansive and profound ways. And I brought these decks down to the lake with me last Wednesday on the day of the eclipse. It is 2.33 now, Divine Masculine Rising, supporting the feminine who is being reborn, recreating life just feeling that I'm not, I'm running out of battery too, 212. There's so much support around. So these messages are coming through today on May 31st, uh, after our eclipse and before our solar eclipse on June 10th, which has a real divine feminine feel. That was my uh, paternal grandmother's birthday. So I've been feeling her energy around that eclipse for quite some time now. Uh, so Anyways, for this eclipse season, I am offering elemental soul messages for the price of soul messages. So it's like getting two messages in one. It's going to give you some guidance on crystals that will support you. Crystals, mineral support, um, elemental kingdom, animal support, plants, trees, all of that kind of stuff. This green healing nature energy, really simple, back to basics as we move through this time, this corridor of disclosure, of revelation. It's really important to stay centered in your heart. First time around, I did also mention that um, a beautiful dear sister of my heart has uh, custom made this for me, uh, raw aquamarine surrounded by rose quartz as a choker. Um, so check her out. She's got, she's your girl for all your crystal and magical needs, angel vibrations on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. So elemental soul messages. Uh, thank you to those of you who are coming back to this channel. Thank you. Welcome to those of you who are new. If you haven't yet, take a moment and subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up and at the end of the messages, leave a comment down below. Let's keep the flow of communication open because that is a big energy of this time. It's time to stop, uh, reflect, reestablish our connection to our heart, um, find ease within this um, energetic brouhaha, if you will. Okay, so we're just going to do the same card. So, and then maybe pull one more, I guess. And we'll see how my battery goes. So this was posted and it's three decks. This was the left deck, Sacred Vision. There's a real call to return uh, we, to the roots. We've got to heal the mother wound is through our roots, through our indigenous roots, the indigenous roots that exist within all of us and all life on earth. 
the center card was the Angels of Atlantis. Uh, Archangel Michael came um, through for me last week from that deck on the day of the eclipse. The I Am Presence, remembering who we are. And the right deck is the Native Heart Oracle. Now, all of these cards are meant as standalone messages of love and support from your ancestors to support healing through this eclipse corridor, really support your ability to walk through and be more authentically you without feeling in this external vice grip, squeezing, squeezing so that people pop off and make rash decisions. This is about, we are here, we are here uh, restoration of life upon, you know, Mother Gaia, the Garden of Eden. This is where the Garden of Eden grows, and it's through each of us. Our heart knows. So, for those of you who were guided to the left deck, you got this card, and it's a number 14 which comes to a five, same vibrational frequency as this year, universal five. The winds of change are blowing, and it feels like for many of you uh, who were guided to this deck, you are really limiting yourself because you're really hung up on time. You're, you're uh, thinking about it so much, almost obsessed with it. Not enough, too much. Um, it's too slow, too fast. Uh, flying by. Um, uh, deadlines, timelines, this kind of stuff. And what your soul is asking you to do, what your loved ones are asking you to do, is to create space in your life every single day just for you. Meditation, visualization, just sitting and breathing, perhaps out in nature, you know, really creating space for you. Why is it so hard for us to create space in our life? You know, like getting out to walk. It's so good for us. And, you know, really, they say 10,000 steps a day is something we should do. That's about walking two hours a day, you know? And most people don't do that and don't even, oh my gosh, I can't give myself that much time. Yes, you can. This is a shorter, this is more simple than that, more basic. It's creating a devotional time in your day, every day, for you. It's the doorway. The time is the doorway. Time only exists here on this planetary realm. Beyond uh, the physical vessel, the physical bodysuit, time doesn't exist. And, and I feel like for a lot of souls, once they transition to back to the spirit realm, there's this like, oh my gosh, almost like this holy cow. Yeah, you know, seriously. If only I knew. Um, and if only you knew what? That the time is unlimited? Time, time really in this, because it only exists here, it, we must understand it was created as a way to limit human expression. Divine human expression. Oh, that sun feels good. Mm. Right? So this is the West direction and the color is black and it says life can be a medley of delight when the painting of your path begins to fray within your own lodge of thought shift your mind's eye to that of a placid sea see the brilliant path of silver moonlight that comes across the water to bring you safely home let the clarity of light fill you with radiant colors as you surround yourself with the protection of the ancestors this is the time of your becoming. What wonders do you dream of for yourself? Absolutely anything. Some water. And it's like, you know, um, the more time that passes, yeah, because time marches on, right? Tickety-boo, tickety-boo, you know? Um, seasons come and go and uh, loved ones transition on and you know right now it's like since 2020 to now there's been so much and look how much time has passed and yet look how quickly it has passed and it's like 
how much life have we been living? How much life have you been living? How much joy? Like, how do you want to live your life? That's your divine right. Your dreams are worthy. And that brings me to there were some, to some other cards from this deck that I pulled out because they kept coming up and I saw them originally when your card flipped out. Um, and they were like, yes, it's important to touch on these. So the first one that came out also, or that I had seen at the bottom of the deck was release. Release. What do we need to release in order to move into, settle into our abundant birthright um, through divine sovereignty and our right to be here? Well, we have to release feelings of being unworthy that we don't have a right to be here, that our opinions, our thoughts, our creations, our expression, our uniqueness is not valued. These are the, the roots, the core wound, the mother wound of humanity, it are feelings of worthiness. Some life is worthy and deserving and others not so much. Based on what? Based on what? Because if you prick my finger and anyone else on this planet, well, any other human, <laughs> divine human, you will see blood just the same. So based on what? Appearance, perception, right? Um, so release feelings un of unworthiness in order to what? Flourish. Because this is our divine birthright you know and if you look at this the roots of this tree i'll read it to you later but just have a look what do you see you know and i was guided to set up here today um in the roots of this beautiful tree okay so these i'm going to read at the end because that's how i was guided to do it the first time so, and for you, it was, uh, for you folks, it was also connecting with the stones and stuff like that too, because this was the stone I was guided to put on the deck before I pulled the card today. And it's all filled with fossils, honoring your uniqueness, honoring your deep roots and sensitivity. Like forget time, forget time. It's a trap. It's a trap. And it keeps you spinning the wheels and you know the mud's flying everywhere and you're not really going anywhere because you're all like caught up not enough time oh my gosh not enough time too much time not on time deadline timeline stop take your watch off i haven't wore a watch in oh my gosh it's got to be 20 years what a relief that was i used to love my watches because it's just like a crystal bracelet but you know <laughs> so anyways um you know time only exists here and, and it marches on, as you can see, right? It moves quickly. So are you making the best of your time? And where is the time in your day? Where is the discipline in your day to support yourself with your own time and attention? That's very important. So then, as if, um, to confirm about time and attention, we moved on to the Angels of Atlantis Oracle. And this was the card that you got, Jophiel, Meditation. And this is all about the solar plexus chakra, right? So there was a lot of guidance that came through really activating and, and uh, talking about um, that this is an area that a lot of people are feeling right now. You may be feeling nausea, queasiness, um, loose bowels, um, you know, upset tummy, all kinds of things with digestion. So just make sure you're tuning into that and breathe into that and see if you can settle that. Sit on the earth, um, drink more water, um, you know, rest if you need to. Just listen to your body intuitively. What is your body asking you for? What does it need from you? And for many of you, it'll be a nice deep breath or two or five or you know two minutes worth of nice deep breathing getting that belly moving chanting raw through that solar plexus chakra working with citrine um citrine what came through for you the first time citrine 
amethyst because the connection of the third eye this is about getting creative what is it that you're wanting to create it's calling your power back right it's calling your power back standing in your own light um yeah shining your light your personal power they show me the for you and it came up the first time i've been seeing it for years it's like your first heart um, first chakra above the earth is meant to be the heart chakra and growing from that so balancing being the bridge of heaven on earth the seed of heaven on earth in the here and now chanting raw through the solar plexus chakra we have more people around this time than i did the first time so if you see me looking that's what i'm doing um but i want to get this all i want to share this before i lose battery too and i'm hopeful <laughs> it's 1551 i'm hopeful this is recording um and then on your crystal i was also guided to place this beautiful angel aura that was gifted to me so that may be another beneficial stone and it is the message is that you are to remember who you are. Remember who you are. You are an earth angel. When I um, worked with this deck last week on the day of the eclipse, I got Archangel Michael. I am presence. I am that I am. We are all things. And it's a reminder. We are at this time, as we're in this corridor, this intense time, of pushing and it's like we're in this vice getting squeezed and this is where the knots in the stomach the queasiness we're getting squeezed because you know and people are popping off making rash decisions no no just breathe breathe there's no need we must feel into everything that's happening around us and what I feel is happening is that the nefarious energies are being revealed and are desperate and which is why the big push the big push and decisions made from a fearful place are not in our best interests any of us hello so as you know it's about getting back to again our roots and our feelings of worthiness and knowing that my feelings are respected i am respected this body that is Lisa Diane Lyle is a sovereign, a sovereign creation of source, as is everyone connecting with this, and as are um, the gentlemen the, that are here chatting on the beach, <laughs> the old guys, one's in the water with bare feet and the other guy's in uh, bike shorts with the helmet on and the runners and a bag, he's collecting uh, stones. <laughs> so cute. Um, so let's read what the guidebook says. And Archangel Jophiel, oh, that's it too. I when I connect with Archangel Jophiel, I say Jophiel, Jophiel. Um, when I connect with Archangel Jophiel, it's always with the sun and um, that yellow ray and joy, joyful co-creation, joyful co-creation, doing what we came here to do being who we came here to be no apologies we are not in a time for any of us anybody whether this is your message or not none of us are here uh, what they said earlier i wish i i don't think i can remember it word for word it was this is no this is no no longer is there time to deny or hide your shine to deny or hide who you are the world needs us to stand in our truth. The world needs us to begin speaking and sharing the symbolism of this time, which is like, sit down, shut up, you know, be seen, a part of the herd, not heard, right? No, no. And this is why we're all feeling squeezed and intense, and yet, breathe into it this is what we need we need to breathe we need to unmask we need to begin to share who we are because more and more is coming to the surface and what's coming to the surface is all that kept us has kept us from 
living in the divine knowing of our worthiness as a part of creation, as a part of universal creation, earth. Here, earth is the Garden of Eden. And we can't, we must see everything and things are coming to the surface. And so it's important that we're taking care of ourselves as this time of revelation and things being revealed is, you know, um, being dripped to the um, masses through the mainstream. Because this is just the very tip of the iceberg. Just the very tip. All that stuff that, you know, people were talking about last year, those crazy nutter tinfoil hot wearers like me. It's all real. It's all real. And it will be revealed. And, and this is why it's important for us to do our part to heal, heart to heart, right? And it begins with our heart and, and, and taking our time to do what supports our heart to shine. Okay, and breathe. Get that diaphragm moving. And chant raw. I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe before the end of this video, we'll do some chanting of raw. I don't want to freak these old dudes out. Um, so Jophiel here in this guidebook is called the Holy Liberator. Freedom, freeing yourself from what? The, con, the, con, um, the confines of time, freeing yourself from the egoic mind, freeing yourself from the mainstream, freeing yourself from the narrative, freeing yourself from the limited tunnel vision. And for those of us who are in this corridor where there's an abundance of opportunities and it feels exciting, there's going to be others who are in that corridor that are so frightened. And this is what's happening. People are so frightened and we've been, uh, you know, locked away here in my part of the world. We're on the strictest measures, I, they're saying worldwide, the strictest measures ever, ever anywhere. And they're talking about locking us down until December. It's like... At what point do we gather and say enough is enough? This, you know, narrative does not represent and is not reflective of divinity, right? Of our divine birthright. So, anyways. Meditation. The message here says finding stillness in detachment helps us to towards the angelic freedom evoked by meditation. And that's, we had the, your pile here had the angel aura that I was gifted. Um, meditation, reminding you that you're an earth angel. They keep saying that. Joe Field provides us with his yellow ray to soar with. All we need to do is quieten our mind. And then we may hear angels sing. So at dawn and at sunset, practice meditation. Breathe deeply. Listen intently through a relaxed state to the divine OM. And then be still to hear the music of the angelic kingdoms. Please be aware of your solitude, stillness, and silence. Reverence is what I'm hearing, a reverence for self. Stillness 255 is a reverence for self, the divine channel of light that you are, that we each are. And this nature's um, symphony is healing to us. Oh, all right, these um, gnats. Gnats, the gnats are back. Uh, more knots than ever here and really crazy weather fluctuations here. We went from, oh, you know what? There's number 12 and this is 21. So this is a part of the second reading that wasn't, it wasn't a part of the first. So, and that's my, uh, uh, that's a nice number for me. The world completion. Um, 12, 21. Okay, so for those of you who were guided to the Native Heart Healing Oracle, this is your card, not that one. This is your card. The Star Child, three, creation. What is it that you came here to create? 
creating from your heart, first of all, the creation is healing. Creation is born from healing. Oh my God, they're attacking me. I think I got one up my nose. Okay. Creation is born from healing. It's because the sun's, um, the sun. I have to get myself in the sun. Sorry, I'm just going to do a shift to Rue here. Maybe. Maybe just slightly shift. Slightly. I just can't stand eating the nuts. Okay. So, yours was the star card. And it's all about healing. And the color green. And, and like, look here at the backdrop. You know, the, the water is soothing to our emotions and it's also a reminder we need to drink more water the color green nature is healing because it is our essence it's who we are plant medicine medicine in nature nature provides all we need when we are living a divine human experience when we are living in harmony with nature this you know we look at all these external things uh, and we're, we're told that all these external things create this pollution the, these issues uh, all of this bad stuff when really what is really where the disconnect is it's the disconnect from the rhythms and cycles of nature the natural ebb and flow of things, the seasons, right? The trees. Hmm. So what are you here to create? That number three, You're creating from the divine trinity within, the divine masculine and feminine supporting the divine child, the mother, father, God trinity, right? And allowing that inner child to come out and lead the playful creation, the joyful creation that is healing on so many levels. To, to, you know, whether it's, we're connected through the heart, we're connected through the, the winds, the roots of the trees, the water, we're all connected through the air we breathe. And they want us to disconnect and fear it disconnects us from the heart and we can't feel rationally into things and choose wisely. Um, critical, critical thinking is not uh, a part of um, a fear-based reaction. Right? So it's time for pause. Some of you, it's time to pause and remember who you are and creating from this, from your heart, you know, really doing next level healing and getting out in the sun. This is for all of us. So let's read the star child. Um, let's read, what are they? They don't want me to read the whole uh, guidebook again because my battery is almost gone so inborn ability what are you naturally good at what is comes easy for you brings you the most joy that is what you're meant to do following your divine path of service now is your time this uh, eclipse corridor this eclipse yes this eclipse corridor that we are in um, I felt the the uh, lunar eclipse it's interesting because I felt the lunar eclipse that we just had last week very masculine energy, very kind of volatile. Um, although, you know, the moon generally yeah, um, is that divine feminine. I feel this solar eclipse coming up on the 10th of June, very divine feminine. So it's almost like, oh, that's what they're saying. That's why they were getting me to say that because we're here to flip this script. This, the curtain's been pulled back, the tablecloth's been pulled out, you know, and now it's up to us to flip the script we are rewriting it we are rewriting it the divine masculine feminine unified from within living in flow and harmony right nurturing that inner child taking time every day for ourselves you know meditating two-hour walks all of that doing all of that because that's what we're here for 
and trusting that when we do that, all of our needs will be met through, you know, um, the grace of Gaia and God, God's creation. Okay? Mentoring, embracing life, opportunity, or an adventure. Um, and the key elements of this are, oh, so here, let's do this little um, meditation. So just get comfy. I'll talk you through it. You can screenshot this if you want. And then you can screenshot that to work with that mandala. Um, and you can lie down and place it on your third eye. Okay? And then deep breathing. And it says, um, so close your eyes and focus on deep breathing. Nice deep breathing. Visualize a deep green eight-pointed star appear within the mind's eye. to form a green band around your head. Imagine the star becoming a green column of light that cloaks down over your body. One of the roles of the eight-pointed star is to help people see themselves as they never have before. To finish this exercise, rest within this ray until it starts to fade. More so than a healing, this med meditation will kindle the light that gives you life. When you are ready, bring your awareness back to within your room and journey on. So the key elements are the green emerald ray, black obsidian ray, third eye chakra, earth, awareness, unity, calm, healing center. So this is the way of the peaceful warrior. It is peaceful. It is the energy of unconditional love, which supports healing of our beautiful um, human hearts, eternal souls, essence. We're here as seeds to grow love here on Mother Earth where all souls know their worthiness, where all souls know they're deserving at birth, and their birth is celebrated in the heavens. In fact, it's celebrated in the heavens more so on earth, and that death is simply another birth. The Sun God card for all of us talks about action, celebration, a positive outlook. Oh, they're saying read it at the end. Okay. Because then we were like, how are we going to flourish for all of us? How do we flourish here? Well, we flourish through releasing. What are we releasing? The shaman song within. To end sorrow and pain, one must have a keen sense of awareness, a clear and simple mind. Simplicity requires a great deal of discipline, intelligence, and sensitivity. It is not an abstract item. He must surrender, open, and release himself as a cocoon must release the butterfly. Inspiration blows through life like the winds of creation, not blustering, soft like the flutter of butterfly wings on your cheek. As clouds part, the sun brings forth the wild sensuousness of the earth awakened and bursting with bloom opening the rich vitality of your inner heart, new vision bursts forth from your chest. With the clarity of an eagle's eye, your soul knows the landscape of your destiny. Trust in this. This, my friends, is the core wound to be healed, is our ability to trust in ourselves, our dreams. And now it's even more intense, right? Because it's like we've all been, you know, locked away, shut down, shut in, whatever restricted externally and so we are like that caterpillar in the cocoon just mush and it can be very difficult to get back into a routine of living life because you know although time is an illusion it is moving on right we we're here for a limited time and we're here to extract as much joy as we can out of life 
uh, living divinely through our hearts, knowing we are worthy and deserving of our time, attention, and love, and all good things that are offered on this um, uh, joyful, short ride called human life as an eternal soul. Worthiness, blue medicine. And, and these are both the worthiness and the, um, uh, the flourish card are the same vibration. Nine, release to receive, right? Release to receive, complete a cycle of feeling unworthy. So blue medicine, all water birds are medicine. If followed, they lead you to water, the essence of life. The kingfisher in particular represents healing. One would wish any wound, physical or psychological, would mend as quickly as the water's surface after the kingfisher's dive. The kingfisher is like the intrepid warrior that you are. To solve your problems, you move deeply beneath the surface of your emotions into the troubled waters, searching for early reasons and conditioning that caused you pain. This blue medicine signifies the deep blue water of your emotions, and your prey is an inferior sense of well-being and worthiness. Like this great bird in flight, once your prey is found, you set your wings to soar high above it, determining where next you will plunge. Let this be your time of healing. Raise your spirits to the sky. Because we are one with all that we see. Open that inner eye and flourish. Okay? Uprooted. Perhaps we're all feeling like this right now. A tree violently uprooted from its life force has many faces of grief and confusion. We are often like this tree, torn away from the environment that encourages our life growth and sense of, and the sense of loss, loss can be devastating. But the roots leave a seed beneath the earth that will ultimately rekindle the wisdom that was left. It will grow and reforest the land in your name and the echoes of your love will flourish from the rain of tears you have shed. This earth is a schoolhouse to which we come to learn and correct our negativity. Abuse is not a birthright. It is something you are taught. And you can replace painful memories with better thoughts. You have the right to change your story with your imagination. Focus on happy laughter and well-being instead of abuse. And the gladness of your heart will follow in the arms uh, as the arms of great spirit enfold you and keep you safe. See every aspect of a situation, even a tough one. Though you cannot change the past, know that you can change what is in your life now. Believe in your divine right to flourish. You, we... All of us are worthy and we flourish through our ability to be sovereign and integral in our cellular belief system. Okay? So let's just see shortly what the sun god says and then i'm out of here don't forget if you want um eclipse season support uh as you move through this corridor of growth full of exciting opportunities you can find a link in the description box below don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave a comment how this felt subscribe and to all of you at 311 i finished the last one at 211 uh or was on the third one at 211 for all of you um, who continue to send me donations of support, I am truly grateful. Thank you for that. I truly appreciate. If you want to do that, link down below um, or again on the banner of this channel. So here we go. Sun God, number 21, the world. 
is our oyster. The cosmos is our oyster. Action, celebration, positive outlook. With this card, the regal energy of sun, the sun god mandala has landed by your side. This mandala holds powerful energies of Ra, the sun god, and all he represents. The energy of vitality, strength, power, and confidence delivered by the golden ray brings a renewing life force and new light to all the shadows that have crept into your world. And in the first one, Jesus was mentioned, and he came up, he brought it up, that we are all to remember. This is a part of our journey here, is remembering at birth, we are the Christed light. We are the Christed light. This is a time of remembrance, <laughs> divine reverence for who we truly are, children of the stars, children of the earth, children of the heart. Um, rise again, child of light, as the dawn of the new day is with you. Just as the sun's rays breathe life into every living cell, you too shall feel the warm glow and radiance shining within. Each day as you are born anew, the great sun lives within you. During the dark hours when the sun gives way to his love, the moon, he travels within the underworld to bring light to all that appears dark. <coughs> It's a journey that only could be inspired by love. So sail with Ra across the skies until your light is revealed anew. Just as each morning gives birth to the liquid gold river seen only by those that hold stars within their eyes. The time of ascension has come for you. Bask in the brilliance of the sun rays and feel your life reignite. Rejoice in the celebration of you. Ra, the sun god. <clears throat> so, we're going to chant Ra now that I'm alone here on the beach. So, the key elements, the golden ray, the seven main chakras, fire, water, optimism, light, life, constellations, ascension, physical strain, depression. That would be inverted, right? That was another thing. Um, uh... Oh, what was it there? Something there triggered me back to Jesus. Oh, yes, we are the living light. We are meant to be the living light. It's time for us to remember we are the living light. You know, what we do matters. What we share matters. Share your voice. Share your love. Share your heart. You know, share your joy. Share your sorrow. And let's release and move on with this. Time marches on. Right forward. Upward progression. Okay, um, so, raw. So I'm going to say, thank you so much for being here. I see you, I feel you, I love you. I truly hope this worked. Um, I trust it did. So, nice deep breathing in and out through your belly. Raw. I feel you. I love you. You're earth angels. I look forward to connecting with you. Blessed eclipse season.